In this Knife Talk update, we're looking again at the Great Eastern Cutlery Titty Ute number 78 American Jack in smooth white bone. And uh, I made a video about this knife relatively recently, um, talking about how it's a, it's a really well-made knife, but it doesn't stand out in, in itself, like in the pattern or the materials. Um, so I wasn't sure I was going to keep it. And uh, I did put it up for sale. I put it up for sale for a price that I thought was relatively you know, reasonable, not trying to gouge anybody, but also not trying to give it away. Um, and uh, as I was putting it up, or I think the day that I put it up, I was looking at it, uh, just you know, get, getting it ready and everything. And I realized that it has a tiny little crack right there. So I hope that I can get this to focus enough that you can see it but it's a very, very small crack. Um, but anyway, I mean, if you can't see it, take my word for it. There's a very, very small crack. I mean, I'm talking about a millimeter, maybe a millimeter and a half or two, two millimeters at most, but there is a crack there at the center pin. And that's something that, you know, a discerning collector, which I'm not sure a discerning collector would have bought this knife with how much use it has, but they would uh, probably, I think, notice that. So um, that gave me a good reason not to sell it because as I said in the last video, I was kind of on the, on the fence about it. And the reason was because like I said, it's a really, really nicely made knife. Um, super smooth action, perfect, about a five and a half pull. Um, maybe even right out of five, I'd say five and a half, I guess. Maybe six, but um, recently, uh, the, uh, this past weekend, I actually um, polished the, uh, the tang or the, the this area of the knife a little bit and uh it's even smoother so um not that i'm saying that you should you know spend a whole bunch of time polishing this area of your knives although um if you follow me on blade forums uh i i did have a, a few of my gradation cutlery knives that had rough edges on this plunge line and ended up making uh lines in the liners so digging actually like very visible troughs uh or, or um, you know, digging holes or, or, or um, routes or whatever into the liners. Um, so I wanted to make sure that that didn't happen with, with uh, some of my other knives. So I polished the, the plunge line area and it seems to have made this, this knife even smoother. So really great action. I mean, I really don't think it gets much better than the action on this knife. Um, super smooth. Great snap, open and closed. And that was what put me on the fence about selling it. So I'm not upset that I found a reason not to sell it. Uh, and another thing that I hadn't realized quite as much before, but it, it does sit, a, the spring does sit a little bit low. Uh, and that's from me dropping the kick a little bit when I first got it. Um, didn't probably uh, need to do that, but I think that it works fine. Um, and uh, now that I decided to keep it, I've been carrying it the last few days, so over the weekend and, and this week, um, and uh, I've kind of remembered why I like it so much. And I talked about this in the last video, but one reason is because it's just a really great design, a very classic design. So you can see that for, for my hands, which are pretty wide, it ends up being a perfect four finger grip. I can get a nice four finger grip without my you know fingers falling off the edge and can use it in really any kind of grip I need to, boom anything from you know this to I don't think I've ever needed to use it like this but if you needed to it's a great handle because of the um, sleeve board design uh, it's uh, just a really comfortable handle um, the other thing too is that this um, spear point blade is really great for for a lot of different kinds of tasks um, this morning I used this knife just because it was the all my other knives were in a knife roll and this one was on my nightstand. Uh, I used it to do my uh, prep for my breakfast and it does a great job. I mean, cutting avocados, tomatoes, um, you know, everything like that. Uh, all the way to utility, I, you know, cut some, some boxes with this uh, yesterday. Uh, this blade shape just is a, a really great one. It, it doesn't get much better for utilitarianism um, than this kind of spear point. So a nice curve up top and then some good belly, but a nice tip and some straight edge. So this is just a great utilitarian knife and it's one that I, I really like. I'm, I'm glad that I ended up deciding to keep it. Um, I even, I to be honest, would like to get a backup. I've been thinking of getting one of the tortoise shell acrylic uh, versions that a, a local dealer had a special factory order made of and still has some. Um, I would like to give him a shout out, I forget. I think the website is, is cutleryclassics.com. 
Uh, so if you would like one of, one of these uh, Spearpoint 78 American Jacks in tortoiseshell acrylic, it has a different shield and it has a long pull instead of a nail nick, but a pretty similar knife. I mean, same blade shape and stuff. Check out uh, cutleryclassics.com. I'm pretty sure that's the uh, website. Uh, but that's a local dealer and everything, and, I, and I'm thinking about getting a, a backup because this is such a well-made knife. Hopefully it will be. But uh, I just wanted to, to make an update just to, you know, show that I decided to keep it and that it is, you know, just such a great knife for using. Um, and one reason I wanted to make this video right now is because the number 15 spear points are coming out. Uh, so the number 15, this is about three uh, and three quarters inches long. The number 15 pattern is also, uh, well, it's more of a jack pattern because the, uh, I don't think that the, the top is rounded, but um, the number 15 is three and a half inches closed. Very similar pattern, feels good in the hand also. I mean, I've had lots of 15s and they also feel good in the hand, but uh, it the this rod is having spear point blades and the spear point is very, very similar to this spear point. Not exactly the same, a little bit uh, less wide but that's just because it's a smaller pattern. Um, so if you would like a knife like this, even if you don't want that, you know, kind of maybe a little bit more uh, fancy version um, that's still available of this knife, uh, check out the, the ebony or the um, jig bone uh, 15s and spear points that are, that are available right now. I think that the ebony 15s that just hit dealers uh, shelves are about as classic looking as a, a jackknife can get. Um, really great uh, dark ebony covers, spear point blade, and nice uh, nickel silver bolsters. So if you're looking for a knife like this, check those out or, you know, check out the ones that are still available, available from this run. And uh, at least my version of this is just a, a superbly made knife, so I'm glad to have it and, and be using it. And uh, I hope you find one from Great Eastern Cutlery that's as well made and as useful as this is for me. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them below. I'm happy to answer them. I like to see what you all have to say. And uh, I have uh, over 100 other videos, lots of um, traditionals, Grady's from Cutlery Queen, a couple case knives. Um, so check those out. And uh, if you'd like to get notifications when I post new videos, don't forget to subscribe. That way you know, you know each time I post a video. And uh, don't forget to go out and do good.